Hey YouTube, it's Jamie Nice on here with an Xbox One reveal. It's the new console. I thought it was going to be Fusion or Infinity or 720. Or not 720, but Infusion or, Fusion or Infinity. But Fusion, just because it redirects you, was a troll. But it's a little weird, one thing. I, don't, I got a bunch of pictures to show you. I don't talk about each one, but it's weird how it goes xbox xbox 360 and xbox one but a lot of people don't know like the name but i don't say i hate the name it's just weird how it goes 361 and i know why they do it is because it says all in one entertainment games music all that stuff but um yeah here's one of the pictures that they showed and it's like a little thing of, uh, let me see if I'm on highest brightness. I only have brightness up. Should have brightened it up. But, uh, yeah, it like takes apart the Xbox. And it has 8 core CPU, 8 gigabyte system memory, 500. 500 gigabyte hard drive, a Blu-ray player, Blu-ray drive, 801.11 in wireless with Wi-Fi Direct. I guess that's sort of like the wireless adapter thing. And HDMI in and out, and U USB 3.0. I guess that means that uh, there's more USBs, or I don't know what 3. Point, uh, USB 3.0 is. Maybe it reads it faster or something. Not the biggest tech guy ever. But, yeah, I don't know if there's going to be an AV spot for like the red, yellow, and white. But, here's another picture of the Connect, the Xbox One, and the controller. And then, like, there's the thing I just showed. Uh, the Xbox controller. And let's go on to the next one. And then there's the guy talking about it. Uh, I think he's one of the big guys in Xbox. Because he was in another video. That was like a little montage of the early Xbox stuff. And like it showed him with like a, like an old white Xbox like cover outside shell over top of the slim. And he pulls it off and unveils the new Xbox. Slim, and then yeah, he was pretty much the head guy of this. He started it. Out. Sorry, my ex my iPod crashed for a second. It like just just shut off and I turned it back on for some reason. Uh, yeah, what I was saying it was probably oh crap, him being the guy that uh unveiled it, the new one. He started it out and all that stuff. And then there's like a close up sort of what it was on the thing. Then there's like the close up uh, logo on the Xbox, and then the TV. That that's really cool. Um, and I guess they're going from green and white or silver to just like black and white. But depending on who you have um, as your cable provider, it goes on this. It's really cool. Um, I'll try to put some links of the stuff. There's an up like a really zoomed in up to it connect and the camera and it's an HD camera new controller design and new clips or not clips thumbsticks and a new d-pad new shape new buttons um they're not quite color oriented with them this time on the new it's a whole new controller almost the only thing that's really the same is has the thumbsticks like it has on the other controllers and then there's uh... NBA or not NBA Madden 25 there's Madden 25 again and then there's Steven Spielberg he's gonna be doing a Halo TV series on their Xbox One exclusive I think and then there's the one of the things that started out Xbox One the all-in-one experience that's what that's what the one's for then there's a picture of Call of Duty Ghost. They did a 
behind the scenes Call of Duty Ghost thing and then like a trailer for it. And I thought they weren't going to do any multiplayer, but they did a little multiplayer and some campaign. Mostly campaign, but I was tweeting, I was like, Call of Duty Ghost. Ghosts. Gosh, I keep forgetting the S. Um, Call of Duty Ghosts, a boy and his dog. Because the dog's one of the main characters, not just like an attack dog. And they use the dog for, like on the mocap thing or whatever. On the little suits and stuff that's cool on the behind the scenes. And there's one of the guys. I just got a bunch of different pictures. And they said uh, Smart Glass was going to be even crazier than it can't was now. Or is now. And there's going to be a lot more stuff with Smart Glass. And they're just going to keep making it better. And then there's Ghost, one of the things that, I don't have this in any order, I was just getting pictures. And then there's Ghost, like when the guy first came out. Then there's the guy, uh, showing Connect. Something just fell in the background. But like, right there, the Connect is crazy, you'll see more. But that one is, it can tell which way your arm moves. Like, if it moves this way, it'll move that way on the Connect or like that. It's really cool. Same thing with your arms and legs. Then there's the uh, swimming feature in Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, I don't know if that'll be online or not. That would be epic, but I think this will probably be only a campaign. But really looks good. It doesn't look as good as it does. Like It looks way better on the thing, but my camera, since it's not the best quality camera, doesn't make it look as good. And then there's a picture of the new Forza. There's going to be a new Forza. It's going to be one of the launch titles. Forza 5. Forza Motorsports 5. It's weird. It went... Uh, Forza 1, 2, 3, 4, Horizon 5. Just like Halo went 1, 2, 3, ODST, Reach 4. But, uh... Yeah, there's that. And there's going to be 15 Xbox exclusives. Um, Xbox One exclusives, and they're going to be bringing. They're going to be have eight new franchises, so there's going to be seven original exclusives. So Forza is definitely one. I think maybe Halo, Gears of War. Can't think of any other ones right now. There's a War. Yeah, there's probably Crackdown, Fable, um, can't think of any other exclusive ones. Alright, let's go on. Then there's a UFC, uh, it's going to be made by EA Sports this year. Um, it's going to, uh, be, looks pretty good. Um, it look, and they showed, like, the, ta the trailer for that, and, uh, I missed most of the EA Sports because... Uh, I was at my school watching it, and I missed, uh, the bell was about to ring, and I went to ask my teacher if I could keep watching it, the next peer teacher, and she ended up letting me finish watching it. So, I missed most of the EA Sports, but it looks really good. I saw the end clip where it showed all the games put together, but I don't think they showed any NBA Live at the end. It was FIFA, UFC, and Madden. But yeah, there's another Forza Motorsports 5. Oh, look, there's part of it when he's getting kicked in the face. Look look at his face, how it moves and stuff, and how his toes move. And there's like even a vein popping out in his foot. And then there's a, another up close of the Connect. Looks like a way different design than that one. Uh, there's another up close. There it is again, all in one, all the stuff. There's another one, a skeletal. Before, it was. They had the skeleton thing, sort of, but it was never, like, move your shoulders or how your hand moves, your wrist, your ankles and stuff. It was pretty much just arms, legs, and head, and stomach. And then there's a little tag or whatever, or name tag with the guy, some guy named John Hicks that was there. And uh, he took a picture of his little name tag thing and the lanyard. 
and then right there something really cool connect thing player info and um it, it has their expression and if they're engaged and not like married that means like if they're really into it or paying attention and it says if they're talking and if their mouth's open and there was more stuff but that's just a little part of it and then there's the back part the xbox av i think power uh HDMI, the what I use for my Turtle Beaches, I don't know what that's called. Some USBs, some other things. Uh, maybe that, I don't know what that is. And then like a cord for the internet. It looks really cool on the back. It looks almost like a computer. And like a computer desktop, just like the like the base of the tower or whatever and then yeah they're bringing back achievements I was so excited when they saw that when I saw that um but uh yeah um then I was thinking to myself like I have 50 almost like 52,000 53,000 gamer score I might want to get this instead of PS4 because I was sort of tw heading towards PS4 just because of that share button. I wanted that so I can make better quality videos and stuff. But then uh, there's a thing where they're watching a movie and they're Skyping. There's going to be Skype on an Xbox, a video game console. Skype. How epic is that? You can be like, playing a game and like Skyping one of your partners on the game. But, uh, yeah, they did demonstrations of all that stuff. They were, like, watching a show, and then they had some person call in, and... Yeah, and then the TV, there's a TV guide, and they're having popular TV on demand, popular movies on demand, like, trending stuff. Uh, there's another, uh, the... I think that's the skeletal one. Of the connect, And then there's the force and muscle, like, it shows, it shows like, if you punch... There's like a little force that comes out, and when you jump in the air, you're green, and whenever you land back down, you're, it turns red, because that's where the force goes. And there's the up-close look on the thumbsticks, and when these thumbsticks come, came out, I thought they were awesome. That's the newer thumbsticks, I don't really want to get up and get my other controller. I just got that one to show you real quick, but, uh... Yeah, we do that deep hand then. That's probably like a grid button to just push it to like go to, back to a list or something. And I don't know what that is. Maybe it's share. There's like two little squares. Hopefully that's a share button. That'd be epic. But I don't see a pause and a start button. So, but ex every Xbox is gonna come with Connect. It said. But yeah, there's a little muscle and impact thing. That's what it was. Um. There's a little connect depth that shows depth of stuff and yeah that's the only picture on that one I guess I thought there was more then it can it can even estimate your heart rate it's really cool there's another one of the depth thing and connect there's a really up close controller pick it looks pretty good sort of reminds me of the huge one from the original Xbox it looks pretty big. But look at his hand, it doesn't look that big to me. Just the shape of it reminds me of the original Xbox controller. Ah, uh, there's the guy again. Presenting the thing, then orientation. I was telling you about the hand moving and it can tell. And there's another of the Steven Spielberg in the Halo TV series. And there's the EA Sports thing. FIFA 14 Madden. 25 NBA Live 14 and then UFC and I don't remember what they said that maybe it's just a blank UFC one for right now and there's a crackdown orb and I don't know if that's coming back it's a rumor that it's coming back they're gonna be making a new one because zoomed in that look they say it looks like a crackdown orb so yeah maybe that's a one of the returning games that'd be cool I like the first one I didn't play the second one too much, but it was okay. Slow, weird of the zombies. And there's a 
really good. Madden 25, the graphics look pretty good on it. At least the trailer graphics did. And there's another one of the console, the controller, and the Kinect. Just all that stuff again. Then I guess they're outside of some convention, expo thing, and all waiting in line. It would be sick to go to that. It would be awesome. I would, I would go to that if I could. But I bet most people would too. And then that, that's what we're first showing. A new generation revealed. And then it showed Xbox One. And then there's another one. Forza 5. Forza Motorsport 5. And uh, there's a Price is Right. That's one of the beginning things. And, uh, um, I saw White Boy 7th Street tweet, and he was like, Price is Right, oh my god, because he's a big fan of Price is Right. He said, on one of his commentaries, he would talk about, he talked about him skipping school and just watching Price is Right when he skipped. And then there's another one of the dashboard. And it's weird, he like used his hands to like control the connect. He like like moved him in and out and stuff. It was weird. Uh, then that, that's what was showing f when uh, you were waiting for it to come on. And like the countdown. Even my gym teacher watched it. And look, that's the in-depth look at the hands. It shows like scars and cuts and even dirt under their fingernails. Even the hair and stuff. And there's a depth look on the, at the dog. It looks really good. Sort of looks like the original tack dogs and stuff, but it looks a lot more like it has scars and stuff on its nose. It's sort of hard to see, but yeah. Then uh, there's a Assassin's Creed 4 picture, but I don't remember that. Uh, I accidentally click on that, I guess. And there's one of the FIFA 14. And then here's a little article on Wikipedia. Uh, it talks about the stuff. Just some of the stuff they've already talked about. And it says it's not backwards compatibility. Good thing I sold most of my games trying to save up for it. But it's code. it says like its code name was Durango. And can't wait till. E3 to learn more about this and on June 10th they are going to be uh, having more stuff on the PS4 so we'll see what happens at E3 and what happens on June 10th uh, I'm trying to look at more stuff oh it's saying that it does not have a video output for like the red white and yellow and it's just HDMI. And it says the console will not work if the connect motion sensing device is disconnected. Um, it talks about some other stuff. And it, they said they're going to have up to 300,000 servers. And they're going to have cloud storage. Um... You can use voice control again. And it'll take a signal from a cable box or something like that. And Battlefield 4, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Call of Duty Ghosts, Destiny, FIFA 14, Madden 5, or not Madden 5, Madden 25, Forza Motorsports, Forza Motorsport 5. NBA Live 14 Quantum Break. They showed a little uh, thing on that, and it was made by Alan, the people that made Alan Wake and um, Max Payne. It was pretty brief, but it looked cool. Rise, Thief, UFC, Watch Dogs, and. Uh, It says the games could be installed and played on more than one console. And it says that the games are tied to Xbox Live accounts. And it said a fee will be charged to unlock a registered game to a different account. And they don't have an amount on that yet. 
And one thing I guess I didn't have any pictures of. The thing um, said that it'll, the, your account will it'll recognize your voice and your image, like your face and stuff. And when, it, when you come over there, it'll notice it. And then uh, it, they showed a thing in the dark. And the connect was working fine. And then uh, like a bunch of people came walking in. I'll just sort of show some pictures while I'm talking. And uh, they came in and like they walked around a couch. And then like the connect popped up with like five different people and they all walked in. It's pretty cool. Really good reveal. I, me and my friend were nerding out. It was fun. We had to miss class to watch it. They were cool with it since the school's over in a couple days. Even my gym teacher watched it, but yeah, I'm trying to get more info out when I can. Um, yeah, um, doesn't have a release date or anything. I'm pretty sure I talked about all the info that's been released. Can't think of anything else. The show was like an hour long. Or the stream stream was, and I think you can watch it on the Xbox uh, Home on the 360 if you have Xbox Live. I'm pretty sure you can find it on YouTube on on Xbox's YouTube, Xbox.com probably. Spike had a after behind the scenes thing, and I think Spike even had it. But I don't know if they'll be showing replays of it. Probably on IGN, G4, big. Big name game stuff like that. But, yeah, pretty long, but I go in depth on all this stuff. Um, you gotta share this to your friends, because I, I just spent like 20 minutes, 21 minutes making this. But, uh, yeah, share it. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Don't forget to comment, read, subscribe. Bye.